In this video, we answer the question, how do I get a work permit in Malta? Get ready to dive into the process, understand the time and cost implications, and explore the potential success rate. Before we proceed, if you've ever visited Malta or plan to, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. So, how does one get a work permit in Malta? That's a question that's likely on the minds of many. Well, let's break it down. First off, you'll need to secure a job in Malta. Easier said than done, right? But don't worry, there are many opportunities in various sectors, so it's just a matter of finding the right fit. Once you've landed the job, your employer will initiate the work permit process on your behalf. Yes, that's right, it's your employer who applies for the work permit, not you. They'll need to provide documentation including a contract of employment, proof of your qualifications, and a valid passport. Next, you'll need to apply for a residence permit which includes a biometric process. This involves a medical checkup and an application with the Maltese authorities. So there you have it. That's the process in a nutshell. You might be wondering, how long does it take to process a work permit in Malta? And how much does it cost? Well, you've come to the right place for answers. On average, the processing time for a Maltese work permit can range from one to three months. This is contingent on various factors such as the completeness of your application and the workload of the immigration office. Patience is indeed a virtue when it comes to waiting for your work permit. Now, let's talk about cost. The exact amount can vary based on your nationality and the type of work permit you're applying for. However, as a general ballpark, you can expect to pay somewhere around 200 to 500 euros. This includes the application fee and other administrative charges. Remember, these are just averages. Your experience may differ based on your unique circumstances. Now that we know the time and cost, let's talk about the success rate. What is the success rate of a work visa in Malta, and how much bank balance is required? Ponder no more. The success rate for a Malta work visa is rather high, primarily due to the country's welcoming stance towards foreign workers. As for the bank balance, it varies, but it's safe to say that you should have enough to cover living expenses for several months. Remember, this shows you can sustain yourself while you settle into your job. Now let's talk about tourist visa and jobs in Malta. So, can you convert a tourist visa to a work permit in Malta? Yes, it's possible under certain conditions. It involves finding employment and having your employer apply for the permit on your behalf. That wraps up our discussion on obtaining a work permit in Malta. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you've visited or are still planning to visit Malta. Also, check out our other videos on Malta. Thanks for watching.